Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of course, Naya, if this is your first time of coming across this channel, so you can kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I'm saying a very big shout out to every one of you for the support, the love you all shower me here with. I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about a video a woman made. She was asking, why are black women being asked to help men build financially? And I I think this is not like something we should be having in our community and all that. But then I am going to start that by saying that uh, if you are going to be with a man, you are supposed to know that there is what we call teamwork and reciprocity. Like when you have to also reciprocate to what a man is doing and the rest of it like you know you cannot be a wife or uh you are cutting somebody to marry somebody and you are not pouring into that person's cup i mean both of you are supposed to work hand in hand like help one another and then she made mention of why is it that it's only black women that they like asian men arab men and all that do not ask their women, what are they going to bring to the table or helping their men to build together and all that. I want you to know that, like, you know, each race have what they are fighting or what is fighting them and all that. So comparing black men with other races is something I do not like, you know, it's a no-no for me. But then I am going to say, if you are dating somebody and you feel like this person is not someone you need to be with, you leave. He is going to find somebody that... That will fit into his category and all that but there is one thing i want to tell you for sure you cannot date somebody or marry somebody you cannot i mean like you cannot work together with it's you it's not gonna work because you really have to sacrifice something while the man also sacrifice something so in that way i mean it will be uh a match you know i am rolling this clip we'll come back to talk about it let me know what you are thinking in the comment section and straight up let's get into it why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? Like, I just really want men to drop down in the comments and help me understand this because I don't hear my white brothers, I don't hear my Asian brothers, the Latin brothers, I don't hear my Indian or Arab kings out here asking their woman to build them up financially. I don't hear that. In fact, in a lot of cultures around the world, you can't even marry as a man if you don't have your bread together. So why are black women being told we need to help up build? Why are we being told we need to ride or die? Why do we have to settle for struggle love? I don't understand it. I also know women who have been with men who didn't have anything, built them up, and as soon as they got on, guess what they did? Leave. So this life that you were promised after he got all built up, you no longer have. And you know what makes me sad about it is black women are called masculine and oh, you focus too much on your careers and blah, blah, blah. Well, how would we focus on anything else if one, we have to black, help black men with the money. And number two, if we know that y'all will peace out once you get the money, the only thing we have to stand on is the money. Do you see? It's wild. It's infuriating. Black women should not have to shoulder being a man, right? There's only masculine energy coming from black women because we have to do your job. We don't want to do your job. We want to do our job and chill and be women and be happy. Not all this riding and the dying. We don't want to, we don't want to die. We don't. We want to live good lives. So please let us do that. Why, why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? I don't understand why this is such a controversy in the black community when it shouldn't be. But I feel like the problem is, is that everybody is chronically online. I've seen multiple people this week, men and women, stitch that Tyler Perry clip, men stitching it who are already anti-black, using it as justification to continue to give black women the bare minimum, and women stitching it saying that Tyler Perry is telling black women to uh, accept the bare minimum. First of all, why is anybody listening to or accepting or internalizing anything Tyler Perry has to say about relationships. The man is a billionaire. He doesn't live in our reality. He doesn't have to deal with the average everyday problems us working class people have to deal with. Thus, anything he has to say besides talking about movies is irrelevant. I'm gonna need black people to stop listening to billionaires, millionaires, and black celebrities when it comes to relationship advice. I'm also gonna need y'all to stop looking towards them for fucking relationship goals. Of course, anybody who them and their spouses dress to the nine, they go out to nice restaurants, they live in a nice home, they drive nice cars, they go on nice vacation. That's anybody's fucking relationship goal. 
The sad part about it is, is that the average person won't have that type of lifestyle in their fucking lifetime. It just is what it is. But what the average person can have is a relationship filled with reciprocity and teamwork. And that's what everybody is fucking looking for. But the problem is, is that people are too fucking selfish to admit it. Everybody's talking about well, what they want. The women, well, I want this and I want the soft lifestyle and I want that. And I, the men, well, I want a woman that can cook and I want this traditional woman. And I want nobody's talking about what they're willing to give to get those things. And all that type of stuff just doesn't happen day one of the fucking relationship. Sometimes you have to build up to it. <gasps> oh, my God. Right. You got to build something. Oh, my God. Right. Y'all, you got to build something. And I'm not saying that to tell women to accept less, especially black women. I'm not telling y'all to settle for some bum, dusty ass dude. Nobody's telling y'all to to be with little pookie down the street who's asking you to use your car and trying to pull off a condom every time y'all y'all fucking. I'm not trying to tell you that. But there is a difference between dumb, dusty little pookie and some dude that's honestly making steps to his goal. The dude that's already maybe has his foundation built, just needs a little help putting up some drywall. That's what it's all about. And when it comes to teamwork in a relationship, teamwork doesn't always mean 50-50. Teamwork could mean I run a business and my future wife is my accountant. That was is what teamwork means. And she could still have the soft lifestyle that she was looking for. But everybody has to provide some type of value in this relationship. Nobody just wants to be with somebody they feel like it's just with them for their looks or their money or it's just mooching off of them. And that and that goes for both men and women. People need to kind of separate the gender thing and honestly just look at it like, yo, what do you want from another human being? Like treat people how you want to be treated and people will have the relationships that they want. This isn't just a black thing. I've seen so many successful black couples, including my parents, do this for years, decades. And it continues to work. But you got to have trust, reciprocity, and respect, bro. That's the only way that shit's going to happen. Why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? Like when I see women making videos like this and the points that they try to prove, that just lets me know that they be on the internet too much and they don't interact with nobody in the real world, especially nobody outside of their culture. But I know y'all still going to be in the comments trying to make yourself look smart when y'all don't. When you go to a beauty supply store, who do you see in there? You probably gonna see the Asian man, his wife and his kids all working in there. The women that y'all be trying to be. It's just gonna be him and his kids in there making money while y'all out spending all the money that this man is trying to make. If you go to a Chinese restaurant, you go to like a, a, a seven, any place where you see like another nationality or race in there, you see the whole family in there working. Y'all don't wanna help. And then y'all want to have these fake conversations on the internet like, no. And then the dudes that y'all be expecting this shit from don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw the shit out of. I remember seeing a viral video of this dude at a construction site. And all the Mexican dudes were showing him what their wife made them for lunch. And he showed his little weak ass lunchable he got. And then you got the women in the comments was like... You know what the fuck that was like, but y'all gonna act a little slow. And I know it's a whole bunch of sisters that don't think like this. Matter of fact, it's only about 10% of the females that think like this and be on this app just talking about a whole bunch of foolishness. And the real ones don't speak about this because they know y'all don't be making no sense at all. And then y'all trying to talk about struggle. Or what the fuck? The, the struggle love that I've seen women go through in their life, they put themselves in it. They could have walked away way before. Like, think about it. Ask any female that had a baby with an ain't shit dude. I'm pretty sure somebody told her don't keep the baby or don't get pregnant by this dude. But they don't speak about stuff like that. And then y'all want to get on here and talk about this. You single till you're married. Shit me. Like, it, it's not even a race thing. No, no man that's really about his business want a woman that's a liability. You either an asset or you a liability. Don't nobody want no liabilities. Then is the man doing all this and all that. Y'all still going to say y'all not happy because y'all not getting no attention. Like, come on, man. Why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially?
I hate this conversation so much, but it keeps popping up on my For You page. Now we understand that she doesn't speak for all women, right? So we're gonna separate this because it's not fair to group all these women together. In this first group of women, you're gonna have this woman that understands teamwork makes the dream work. She's gonna understand that I'm not gonna always be able to find a perfect man, but I'm gonna find a man that does everything that I need. And he gonna be perfect in my eyes. We're just gonna say that this man demonstrates a prominent future. He might not have the bag right now, but he's taking the steps on an everyday basis that she can see to make sure that he has a bright future, right? But then you have another group of women that wants their hands out and want it right now. They want a man that has everything he's already accomplished. He's done everything he needs to do. He already has a bag. He has got everything that she wants. Well, guess what? That takes time. A lot of you don't want to put that time in. A lot of you are putting pressure on some of these men that are 25, 26, 27 and comparing them to a man that's 40, 45. That's not fair. Wealth takes time to build. And hey, if you want a man that's already established, cool, you go do that. But don't bring yourself to the internet, start talking down and generalizing all men because you're picky and you can't find the finished product because you don't think it's worth your time or you're too valuable to work and grind and build with someone the proper way. Why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? You know what? Shaking my head. Y'all are too funny. You know, instead of worrying about what the other races and other people in other communities are concerned about and doing, you should be uplifting black men. You should be resting in your femininity. You should be non-chaotic and being cooperative and being submissive to the black man. Don't you know that he's only considered three-fifths of a man? Yes, that's right. In 1776, when, uh, what was that, Zaddy? The Declaration of Independence was written. Yes, that's right, by them. And, and y'all had the audacity to say, why should we protect? Why aren't they protecting us? Because of how y'all carry yourselves. Y'all too damn masculine. You're too independent. And you're too ratchet. And for those that it doesn't apply, let it fly. Adios. Why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? This finna be fun. <laughs> uh, uh, she's not even the original poster of this video because they did some commentary after, but I'm just going to address what she said. Um, first of all, nobody ever asked black women to build black men up. Nobody ever said that. Not, not one black man has ever asked, build me up. <laughs> Unless he was some bum that actually don't want to work. And what he means by build me up, he means pay for everything so I don't have to do shit. <laughs> But ain't nobody asking black women to build nobody up. And at least in the states that you're talking about now. In a relationship, you should be building each other up. So I'm kind of confused. But I just want to address how Shorty bringing up every other damn race. We are black, ma'am. We are black. We are not the same as white folks, Indian folks, Asian folks. Nothing. We are black. We are black. Which means we have negative history in this country okay the reason why black women had to be masculine and take over the household is because around probably the six honestly since the civil rights and slavery was done bro it's because their husbands and their baby daddies keep getting murdered <laughs> kept getting murdered kept going to jail uh for selling crack because they couldn't get a job okay i just watched a video then in 1987 25 percent of black men were unemployed and if black people make 13 percent you do the damn math because i can't tell you how many percentage of men it was versus women but 25 percent of black men was unemployed in 1987 that wasn't because they were lazy Okay, that's because culture, that's because America, that's because racism. Let's move on. Her first mistake was comparing a black man to any other culture for that very reason. Black men have their own struggles, their own tribulations, as do we. And we can't sit here and compare other cultures. Now, we're not also not going to sit here and like other cultures don't have women that work because they do. And at the end of the day. If a man wasn't brought up to even think 
that he should be paying all of a woman's bills, blah, 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 blah. That's not what he's going to think like. Point blank, period. But ain't nobody asking y'all to build nobody up. I, I, I don't know where y'all at. I don't know where y'all live at. I don't know what y'all be looking at. I don't know if your examples are only on social media because if it is, then <laughs> newsflash, this is not real life. This is called the matrix. This is called social media. This is called the internet. And see, when I turn this little button off, I'm just back in my own real world. So you should try living here. It's much nicer than what the fuck y'all be talking about. Very much so. Um, but um, nobody's asking you to financially build a man up. Nobody's even asking you to take care of a man. People are just asking you to stop asking for shit that you either don't deserve or that you yourself can't even obtain. I mean, y'all, like I said, I keep fucking saying this shit. Y'all be wanting men that make money that you don't even have half of. You know, y'all want Birkins and shit and you can't even buy yourself a Birkin. I'm not saying all y'all or even her, but I'm just saying... I think your guys' expectations sometimes is a little bit too high, you know, for the average bear, all right? The average bear makes about 60, 60 a year and higher. But I actually saw this video because one of my um, followers, friends, whatever, posted and he actually said that, um, you know, there are plenty of black men that have money and careers and all that. He gave the stats. Um, but apparently black women have more debt and this and that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you want a man to take care of you. And that's all you have to say, which is what kind of what she said, you know, like you want to just sit and be a woman. First of all, every woman don't want to be a stay at home a wife or a mother. You know, some women do want to have a career and work and that's OK, too. And it's OK if you want to be a stay at home mom. I just suggest that you find a man that can make you that and just call it a day but i don't know y'all be complaining about stuff didn't nobody ever say to you i'm just saying like it's nobody's nobody's asking us that the problem is we take care of pookies we take care of the ray rays you know we take care of the broke niggas that don't want jobs ain't gonna get a job don't want to help you pay a bill i have been there okay one time i have been there um that's the problem is that y'all keep dating those types of guys that don't want to help you with shit and then you get tired you get fed up and then you start thinking it's all niggas but no it's just the niggas you like so i think you guys should just find the man that you want and call it a day but I just feel like we're constantly on social media like black women this, black women this. Sometimes, a lot of the time, because I'm one of those people that will say so, it's warranted, it's justified, it's true. But in this case, I'm going to call bullshit because ain't nobody asking you to take care of me, nigga. But you should build your man up, though. That's the least you can do. That's the least you can do. Because honestly, if y'all don't have kids, being a stay-at-home wife to me is lazy. Because it's like, okay, yeah, you can clean the whole house, cook, cook when he get off. But it's like, what are you doing the rest of the day? And if you're cleaning the house every day, it's always clean. So there's not going to be that much of a mess to be cleaning up. So it's kind of just like, if, if unless you have kids not working and just letting your man take care of you to me, it's like, what are you doing? Now, if you're going to school, you have a little career, not a little career. If, you, if you're going to school, if you have a career, then obviously you're not, not working. But I, I don't know. That, I just thought about that late. Okay, so what are you doing? But whatever. Whatever. I just wish that y'all would stop lying on black men on here. Okay? There's the truth and then there's lies. Stop lying. Why do y'all feel like black women are supposed to help you build your life? Oh, I can answer this very quickly. Because you're going to help spend the money. Why not help me get the money? Haven't you heard it take money to make money? Oh, for real though. The reason be is because most of the women of our race are extremely selfish. They feel just because they have a cooch that they're automatically supposed to be taken care of. Without doing anything. I understand this is not all. This is just some. See the thing is coming from a man who's dated multiple different races. The biggest difference between the other races versus black women is black women are ask you what you can do for them other races will ask you what they can do for you 
Say I'm lying. Which is a turn on for most of us black men. I'm not going to lie to you. Hell yeah, I'm going to go deal with the woman that wants to make sure I'm straight. Because that means if I make sure she's straight, she's going to be more appreciative of the things that I do for her. Versus a woman who already got it set in her mind that I'm obligated to do anything for her. Also, most you women... Sisters, I'm going to talk about because that's what you brought up. The sisters, you're talking about black on black. You know, most of the sisters be struggling already. So in my eyes, you shouldn't be struggling. If you're struggling, you shouldn't even be trying to date nobody. If that's the case, because if you base you dating a man on whether he can financially take care of you, then you already done lost. Also, you brought up the people overseas, right? You said they don't ask their women for that, right? Right? That's what you said, right? You know why they don't have to ask their women that? Because their women are properties. They're properties overseas. You see, their women are seen and not heard overseas. See, them women over there don't have independency overseas. See, them women over there don't go clubbing every weekend overseas. See, them women, right, that you speak of, they listen to their man overseas. See, they can't dress the way they want to dress overseas so when you bring up other people's cultures you got to understand black women ain't strong enough to do the things that these other women doing in these other cultures see you all are strong when it comes to united states things because y'all have all the advantages that women in other countries don't have women in other countries don't have public aid sweetheart women in other countries don't have section 8 sweetheart some countries they not paying taxes they don't have they can't have five babies and get tax credits in other countries sweetheart so it's a bunch of factors play into that. But you brought up one more thing that kind of struck a nerve to me. You said why are black women the only race asked to struggle with their man? Sweetheart, don't you understand the struggle is what makes y'all bond tighter? Those that eat together, pray together, stay together. Haven't you heard that? Why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? Black well, I, I got the answer to your question. Black men, what have happened to our pride in being master craftsmen? You know, I remember back when I was coming up, okay, and I'm turning 50 in November, all right, that you were known by your trade. Your daddy, your granddad, your uncles were known by what trade they did. You know, people were known as like Lonnie the Barber, Antonio the Mechanic. Uh, uh, Ricky, the landscaper, you know, you were known by your trade and your trade skills, your trade skills and your ability to make money with your hands earned you an income that was sustainable enough to not only put food on the table for your family, but to take care of all your responsibilities and also to even put kids through college. A lot of kids have been, a lot of children have been put through colleges by their parents working hard and you know, in a business and making sure that all that happened for them, you know? And that's the reason why I don't understand what's going on today, you know? You got people walking around broke and if you say, young man, young lady, what you gonna do with your life? They're gonna sit there and tell you a million things. They're all over the fucking place. And then they're gonna tell you they're an entrepreneur. Okay. An entrepreneur is a nice way of saying you have no skills. All right. Because let me tell you something. Even if you start a business, come up with an idea, you're an entrepreneur, or whatever, you're gonna have to work until that dream becomes a reality. Okay. Here it is, I'm 50, my wife is 42, and we just had this discussion. We just had this discussion, as a matter of fact, this morning. Because like I told her, I don't want to work past the age of 60. You know, I'm 50, I'm, I'm, I'm handsome, I'm in decent shape. You know, I don't want to work past the age of 50. And, I mean, 60. And I don't want her to work past the age of 50. You know, and I'm working my 10-year plan, which... I'm not going to tell my secrets because when you tell your secrets, you know, there's demons at work to block your blessings. I already know how spiritual spirituality works, you know what I'm saying, and I know how the forces of nature work. So, uh, 
basically what I'm saying is this, man. Like, what is wrong with having a trade skill? Okay, it's this simple. You you go down to your local union. You find a trade that you're interested in, and you apply. Now, some of them take a year, some of them take two years, some of them take three years, depending on what trade you're pursuing. But the thing about trades is this, and this is the thing I don't understand. Most trades start anywhere from 16 to 25 entry level. You can make $16 or $25 an hour entry level. Get all the overtime you want, okay? And actually bring home some pretty decent paychecks and change your life, you know. Uh, it was another stitch that I was watching where a brother was saying in order to make his dream work, when he was uh, pursuing his trade or whatever, he got a gym membership and would sleep in his car and stack his money up until he got a nice whip and a nice, uh, a nice place to lay his head, you know. And I've done that before too as well because I've done some work on the road when I was single because I've been through a divorce you know in my life so basically what I'm trying to say is this trades pay better than filling out somebody's job application okay now you can look back in history and learn that lesson okay a lot of men of color ended up in that prison system because they were in the inner cities and were being told to go pursue factory work. Okay? And a lot of them factories closed down. They bellied up. So you had a lot, a large proportion of black males that would use that factory work that didn't have trade skills to go to the outskirts of the city and pursue other trades and stuff to make income so they resorted to being criminals, okay? What I'm trying to say is uh, is this, that historically, and as far as I remember, now this is some old school gang coming from an old head, okay? And, and like I said, I turned 50 in November. All the black men I knew had trades, took care of their families, to care of their kids, responsibilities. This is when the black man was in the home now. Okay? They always had money, like the Mexicans, pocket full of money, because they, they most of the time, they wanted to uh, get paid in cash. If they, if they got paid a check, the, the woman would go pick the check up from the man's boss, so the man wouldn't screw off the money. You know what I mean? So that's the way it's always been traditionally. Black men had trades. And their own business start out in their trades, and then eventually they would open up their own businesses. Now, if you look at the average earning of small business owners, you're going to see that most small business owners earn $100,000 a year or better. That is not poverty level. And I said what I said. Why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? Well, I can tell you from my personal experience, I'm not born in this country. Um, I'm not American by birth. Um, we just, we don't even have these conversations. We just understand that in a household, it takes two incomes, especially in this country for, you know, most people, unless you're just fucking rich. But we understand that it takes two incomes to build a household, to build a family, and to attempt to build generational wealth. So this isn't a conversation with us. We just know that both the man and the woman will have to work and contribute financially to the household. The conversations that you guys are having are fucking stupid. Just build shit together, that's it. So we don't even have to ask, it's just understood that it takes two. Hey, you said you don't hear those conversations coming from white women, Indian women, and all these other places, right? Cool. We also don't see those nationality hey, of uh, men, this uh, is women. This I got from the cities, and I have something to say about this because, like, you know, 
Um, how are you supposed to be with a man? Maybe you are married to a man or maybe you are dating a man. I mean, I feel like when you say that this is someone that I want to be with, I mean, you've got your reasons to want it to be with this person and all that. And I think that people are not asking you to build. Uh, they, I think men are not even asking black women to help them build. But when a man is building, it is natural that when you love somebody, when you want to be with somebody, you are automatically, I mean, saying that this man is building and I am supposed to be the one to maintain and help out where, when it is necessary and when need be, right? It is going to be dangerous that a man is building and he has a woman and the woman is not helping out. Helping out means you might be uh, like one person, he might be the owner of a business and you have something you are also bringing to that business, probably by assisting or being an accountant or being a, a cash, I don't know, but you have to give out something. I mean, you are not supposed to wait for a man to like build everything and you are the one not even helping out or not being supportive. I mean, that is where you got it all wrong. Because I watched my dad and my mom, why they went, I mean, when I was very young, my dad, when he was alive, right? I watched both of them work hand in hand. Sometimes I don't even know who is broke or who is rich because we never lack anything. When there is need for them to provide, they provide. Why? Because they were working together. If they were not working together, we probably might see lapses that maybe this one is the one providing and this one is the one not providing. We never knew all that. They just did everything together as husband and wife, right? They both assisted each other. When my mama, my, when we come back from school and my mom is cooking, my dad have to shower us. When my mom is up to something, my dad is our tutor, right? Both of them are helping one another. But then how do you expect just one person to be the one doing all the job, but you want a princess, uh, uh, you know, princess treatment? How is that going to work? It is not going to work out, you know? What you put in is also the result you're going to get back. Like, you know, when you are being positive, doing one or two things, helping out, trust me the man is also gonna give you without even thinking you know i am not sure men are asking you know uh asking uh to be helped or to build men financially but it is it is smart that i am dating somebody right and both of us are being of help to one another because I can build him, he can also build me. Like he goes hand in hand, right? I mean, would you rather be a liability or something? Even if you have more money, even if a woman, even if you have more money than a man, there are also places you also need somebody to like, you know, you need somebody's brain to work on something. And if you are also with a reasonable person, trust me, he's going to offer you the help and all that. It is not about uh, helping or not helping, but uh, it is a must that you are supposed to assist if he is your husband or your someone you are calling today uh, to marry or something. I mean, how do you want to be useless to somebody? Does that make any sense? I am not like tackling anybody here, but I am addressing why a black women are being asked to help men build financially, right? I mean... He's helping you, you are helping him. I think it goes both ways, you know? When you are helping a man, a man is also assisting you. And nobody's asking you to settle for less. When you are dating and you feel like you are about to settle for less, you leave. See, so you find somebody that you know that we are going to be pouring in each other's cup. So by, that, uh, by doing so, you are not supposed to start asking 
what uh, why is it that black women have been asked to help build uh, black men financially and all that you know and please stop comparing black men with other tribes like arab some all these countries have all their shit together you know stop comparing and stop like you know if you have something you want to say just speak it and stop bringing other races into it i mean just to justify what you got to say and nobody's forcing you to be a man it's either you want to build with him or you don't want to build with him. you just leave it is just all up for you so this is what i got to say i'll see you all in my next video bye for now